Howdy, y'all. Just kidding. I am a Texan now, so is that how I should introduce my videos from now on? So I have a huge haul to share with you guys. I got a bunch of crap from Burlington, TJ Maxx, Marshalls, Ulta, Walgreens, blah, blah, blah. So I'm going to try not to ramble too much throughout this video. I have so much stuff to share with you guys. I even have crap on the floor to show you. This is probably going to be like a huge haul. I hope you're ready. I hope you have some food, drinks, whatever. Let's go ahead and get into this. So I was at TJ Maxx the other night and I picked up some great skincare goodies. So recently I've been super into skincare products. I never really like looked at the skincare stuff at like TJ Maxx and Marshalls before. I always kind of overlooked it, but here recently I've been super into it. So I picked up a bunch of crap from the skincare section. So the first thing I want to show you guys is this little container full of like little sheet mask pods that you can make yourself. There's 25 little sheet mask pods and what you do is you just put your own little like serums or whatever you want to put in here to kind of make your own sheet mask and you let it soak in the little pod and so you make your own custom sheet mask so they have a regular version and then they have a charcoal version as well so that's what these little black ones are for so i'm actually super 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 excited about this i can't wait to try it these are cruelty free 100 vegan paraben free sulfate free and these were only 5.99 so i just think this would be really really fun this is a cool idea and i'm excited i found it next up We've got this Pearl Essence 24K Gold Illuminating Mask. This is like a gold glittery mask and it's supposed to help moisture and brighten and give you a glow. This is also $5.99 and so I've never really tried, well I've tried the Peter Thomas Roth version of this but I don't know, something about this just really intrigued me. It says it has hyaluronic acid, marine collagen, and vitamin C to help brighten, boost, and restore skin's natural radiance. So I just thought this was cool and I'm excited to try it. The next thing I got is the Korean K-Beauty products that I'm very excited to try. This is from the brand Goodall, which I've heard really good things about and I never really thought to check TJ Maxx and Marshalls for K-Beauty products. So now I'm like intrigued to find some more. This is $9.99 and this is the Premium Pearl Tone Up Essence. So this is supposed to give you a more bright complexion. It's supposed to have like crushed up pearls. It's got like a pump and stuff. So I could see this being really great like before you put on makeup because it's supposed to illuminate and brighten up your skin tone. So I will, what I want to do is make a video where I'm trying out as much of this stuff as I possibly can from this haul. So I definitely think I will put this in there. So be looking out for that video. I will definitely film it here in the next coming days and once I do I will put a link down in the description box so you guys can watch it if you'd like to see it. It's really cool to find the K-Beauty stuff. I'm going to try and find more K-Beauty from TJ Maxx and Marshalls. I'm going to try and really comb through the skincare from here on out because like I said I never really do. And the next thing that I found and I was so excited to find this is from La Vanilla and this is one of their natural healthy deodorants. I love this deodorant. I don't usually get this scent. This is the vanilla passion fruit. I usually get the pure vanilla scent from Sephora, which is right around like $15 for the same exact size. But I got this for $7.99 at TJ Maxx, which is super exciting to me because obviously it's much more affordable. Here's what it looks like. Again, it's a natural deodorant, so you don't have to worry about like aluminum and all like the chemicals and stuff. This smells pretty good to me. It's, it doesn't smell quite as good as like the original vanilla one, but I still really like it. And I feel like this has a very smooth texture. This is one of my favorite deodorants ever, especially even being like a natural deodorant. I know some people can be kind of like scared and nervous about that, but it really does work. I really enjoy this product, so I was so excited to find it at a discounted price. And then the next thing I got, I got this day serum from Valjean Labs, and I'm about out of my serum that I use during the day which has retinol and collagen in it so I wanted to pick up another day serum. This is the Revive Vitamin C Plus Peptides and this was $5.99 so it says it has vitamin C to help brighten and peptides to have smoother and more toned skin. So I'm excited to try this. I have a facial mist, mist from this brand that I really really enjoy so I'm excited to see how I like this product. 
So then from TJ Maxx, I got a dry shampoo. This is from Batiste. This is a really good brand. Everyone talks about it. This is $8.99 and this is in the floral scent. So I don't really typically use like the plain Batiste. I like using the one specifically for brunette hair, but it comes in a smaller can and it costs about the same as this. So I just wanted to try it and see if I like it. I'm about out of dry shampoo, so I just thought I would pick it up. And I smelled this in the store and I do really like the scent. And then from their clearance section, I just got some sunscreen. This is SPF 50 and this is only $4. So we're actually out of our spray sunscreen and I really like the kind of spray cans because I feel like they're so much easier to apply. So for four bucks, this is way cheaper than you can even get it at Walmart. So I was excited to find this. So then I also picked up this pet egg. This was $7.99 and this is like the pure gold, like 24 karat gold. Who knows if it's actually really like 24 karat gold. But I needed another one of these. I feel like these kind of can dull really quickly and products like this kind of dull really quickly. So I constantly like repurchase them and so I just picked up another one. I've not tried the gold one just yet so maybe it'll be a little bit better than like their traditional pet egg. I don't know but I'm excited to try it. My feet have been looking rough lately so I'm glad that I can finally haul this and use it. And this is random, but I picked up this box of chocolates. I see these all the time at like TJ Maxx and Marshalls at like the checkout lane. This is the raspberry truffles from Harry and David. And I really like raspberry and chocolate mixed together. Unfortunately, this is dark chocolate and I, I wasn't aware of it. This was $4.99. And I always like getting their little candies and stuff like that at checkout. Like, they're really good, kind of like gourmet stuff. But this is like too intense of a chocolate for me. I wasn't like a huge fan of it. So, if you ever see these, it doesn't say anywhere on like the front that it's dark chocolate. So, just be aware. I don't know if you even care about this, but I thought I'd mention it. I'm a huge chocolate fan, so... Those things at the front desk always intrigue me. So then I picked up a candle. This is from Village Candle and this is in the scent Maple Butter. I did get this from Marshalls for $9.99 and it was near the like checkout lane. And it smells so good. It smells so strong and fall-like. I love fall scents. So if you ever get a chance to smell this or see this, I would highly recommend it. I can't wait to burn it now that I've actually hauled it, but I wanted to show you guys first. This is a huge candle for 10 bucks, and I'm excited to use it during the fall time. So also from Marshalls, I got this Kat Von D Locket powder in the color Golden. This was $7.99, and I'm not sure how I feel about this. I used it once, and I'm not super sure about the color. Like, I wish it was a little bit lighter. Here's what it looks like, and it seems like it would be super brightening, if you guys can see that. It seems like a really soft powder, but I feel like the one time I used it, it made me look super dry. I'm not really sure, like, what to think about it. I was excited because I've heard really good things about the Kat Von D powders. I think I might need a lighter shade, I'm not really sure, but I wasn't, like, blown away by it initially. So I think whenever I make that video um, testing these products, we'll see. We'll see just how it works in that video. Now I have powder everywhere. So for Marshalls, I got this Milani Lip Oil. This is the Moisture Lack of Rose Hip Oil Infused Lip Treatment. Um, and this is in Repairing Primrose. And I've seen a couple of these floating around. They have like a coconut one and stuff like that. So this was only $2.99 and I'm excited to try it. I love like moisturizing lip oils and stuff like that. So I thought I would just give it a shot. Again, this is something I would love to try out in a video for you guys. I legit have this powder everywhere now. Great. Okay, so I also picked up from Marshalls. This is a blackhead remover tool or like a whitehead remover tool. And this is only $2.99. But I actually got this for my boyfriend because he really likes these tools. They work really well for him. I can't really get these to work great for me. Like I feel like I'm pressing too hard on my skin and it kind of hurts and... I can't really get anything out, but he seems to really enjoy them, so I got this for him. So I did go to Burlington, so I picked up this brush right here. This is kind of like a foundation brush. It's a dual brush, so you've got like a foundation buffer brush up here, and then you've got like a contour blending type of brush. And this is from Beauty Muse 
Pro and this was a $5.99. So I'm constantly like needing foundation brushes. I don't love using like used ones, like if they've already got foundation caked on them. So I like buying, I like buying these. And this feels pretty good. I like when a foundation brush kind of feels like dense. I don't like when it feels super flimsy. So I could see this like buffing out foundation really well. Even this side that's technically for like contour and stuff. I like using these kind of brushes for concealer and stuff like that. So I'm really excited to have another one of these in my collection because I'm always needing a clean foundation brush. And then this bronzer I got from Burlington. This is only $3.99 and this is the L'Oreal Glam Bronze bronzer for face and body in light pale. So I remember seeing a lot of people on YouTube like haul this and really really like this bronzer. It's like a huge pan. I used it once already and I really do like it. It's a subtle bronzer and I do really like the color so I'd love to show it to you guys in my little like makeup try on video and then i picked up a bunch of nail polish from tj maxx i have a bunch of pinks that's me typical so this one from essie is called fun in the gondola which is like a really pretty like mauvey pink i love mauvey pinks so much and i'm definitely planning on making like a separate haul video for my nail polishes because i'm right in the middle of swatching all of these so i can have like actual hand swatches to show you guys in the haul video and then the rest of them are OPIs so I have this one this is a really pretty like vampy berry red called Malagna wine and all of these OPIs and this SE were only $3.99 then I have this from OPI this is be there in a Prosecco which is what I have on my nails right now and it's kind of like a putty white color I really really like this and then look I just like went crazy for pinks which is all they really had at the TJ Maxx I went to, but that's fine with me because I love wearing pinks. So this one is Pink Ladies Rule the School, and then we've got like a glittery one, which is called Princesses Rule. And then this one's so pretty. I've worn this so many times, and I have it on my toes right now. This is called You've Got Nada on Me. So for a more in-depth look at these polishes, I'm going to put them in a separate haul. Okay, so that's pretty much everything that I got from like TJ Maxx and stuff like that. Now I have stuff from Burlington, Walmart, Walgreens, Nordstrom Rack. So from Walmart, I got this Hard Candy Sheer Envy Setting Spray 12 Wear Hydration. So this is supposed to defeat like um, humidity and stuff like that. And so I really, really need something to help me with my makeup here in Texas because it is so hot and so humid. My makeup just like wears right off. Like it is just sliding down my face. I heard really good things about this and it was only six bucks. So I just picked it up the other day. So I'm hoping... I'm hoping that this can really help my makeup stay on better. <sighs> I feel like I'm talking so much. I'm probably being so annoying. I'm just trying not to make this video be super long and like annoying, but I feel like trying not to be annoying, you end up being more annoying. So I don't know, I'm probably just being really annoying. So then I picked up these two products from Walgreens. So I got this little highlighter from Wet n Wild. This is the Bloss, it's in the color Blossom Glow. And I don't know if I like this so much. I just saw it and I was like, that's so pretty. I walked by it twice and I don't know, like these, these color highlights always kind of intrigue me and get to me. And it was only five bucks. So I picked it up and I've tried it twice now and I'm not completely like sold on it because I have a bunch of colors like this. Like I said, these colors always kind of grab my attention. So I have a bunch of them and I thought this would be like one I didn't have, but I do, so we'll see. And then I picked up the Simple Colors Quick Dry Top Coat. I love this. This is so good. This is what I've been using on my nails every time I've painted my nails for the past, like, week or two, and I absolutely love it. It does dry your nails really quick, and this was only, like, $3, so I will continue to repurchase this. I already know. So then from Nordstrom Rack, I got these two blending sponges. So these are from Danielle Creation, and these are so good. If you guys ever go to Nordstrom Rack, pick up some of these sponges. They are only $2.97, so $3. These are basically like beauty blenders, like exact dupes of beauty blenders. And the last time I was there, I picked up one, and I really enjoyed it. And then when I went this time... They didn't have very many of these left, so I made sure to pick up two of them. So maybe people are starting to catch on that these are really, really good. Like, these are great sponges, super affordable. 
They're even just as good as like the Real Technique sponges. They're cheaper than that even. So check your Nordstrom Rack if you like beauty sponges and you like a good deal because these are an amazing, amazing deal. All right, and then I went to Ulta and I kind of splurged on a makeup brush. This is from It Cosmetics. This is their Superstar Limited Edition Flawless Foundation Brush. So this is in the shape of a star. This brush was $30. Which, I'm going to tell you right now, I don't think you need to spend $30 on this brush. It was, just, it was definitely a splurge for me, and I was kind of like, I deserve it. And also, Kathleen Lights has a little heart brush from It Cosmetics. She uses it all the time on her channel, and whenever I see it, I'm just like, that's so cool. I wish I had like a little cute like cutout type of brush. So, I got this. It's limited edition. I don't... Like I said, like earlier about that, that other foundation brush I found at Burlington, like that one has more density than this one even. Like this is kind of like flimsy for me when I'm wanting to use a brush for foundation. I'd prefer a little bit more, like I'd prefer a brush that's a little bit thicker. Like to me, this is a little bit more flimsy than I would like, but I do really like the star shape and you know, it's okay to like splurge on yourself every once in a while, so I justified it, but $30 for one brush, I was definitely nervous about, but well, this is like a once, once in a lifetime buy right here. I mean, when are you going to find a brush that's in the shape of a star, so, and even the girls at Ulta were like, these brushes will last you a lifetime, like don't worry, so I got it. And then also from Ulta, I got this, um, Physician's... This Physician's Formula Jumbo Lash Bold Volume Dramatic Finish Mascara. So isn't this the one that Tati always talks about? I'm pretty sure there's like this green Physician's Formula Mascara she's always talking about. This was on sale. This was marked down. It was like clearance for about five bucks, I want to say. So I'm thinking they're like phasing this out because I, I've not seen this mascara anywhere since I found this, like not at Walmart, not at Target, not at any of the stores I've been to, so they might be like phasing it out. I'm pretty sure this is the one Tati always talks about. I've never tried it before, so I thought like, hey, I'll try it, it's on sale. Hopefully they're not getting rid of it because maybe it's a really great mascara and I love having mascaras on hand because I run out of them all the time. So if you've tried this, let me know if you like it. And then I got two products from Catrice that I've really been wanting to try out. Um, this little concealer is another Tati recommended concealer. This is the Liquid Camouflage High Coverage Concealer. I got mine in the color Porcelain, so I'm really excited to try this. Apparently it's super high coverage. This was really inexpensive. The Catrice brand is really inexpensive, and I've not really tried anything from this brand, so I picked this up. And then I also got this Long Lasting Prime and Fine Multi Talent Fixing Spray. This was also really inexpensive and this is also supposed to help the wear time of your makeup. And I actually did try this the other day before I went to work and I do, like just the one time I tried it, I do kind of feel like it helped make my makeup adhere a little bit better than if I had not used this. So I'm interested definitely to see how this performs, like trying it out a little bit more. I'm excited I got it. Again, this Catrice brand is really inexpensive, so I'm excited to have these products in my collection. I hope that they work out amazingly because it's always so great to find cheap stuff that works great. And then the last thing I got from Ulta, this is a stick foundation from Makeup Revolution. I got mine in the color F6. So this is their stick foundation. It's only about $9 and I've been wanting to try this for a very, very long time. So this is what it looks like. I will definitely use this in my try on video. I did pick up the color F4 the other day and I had to take it back because I realized it was way too light for me. I feel like the shade range in this foundation, like I've heard a lot of people say it has a great foundation range which may be true like online or something, but I feel like in the store, they have 8 million shades of like light shades. Even for me, it was kind of hard to figure out what shade I was because initially I was picking out something that was super light for me. They have 8 million like light shades and then a couple of dark shades. So I don't know. I don't even know if the shade will look great on me. We will try it out. But other than that, I'm really excited. I've heard really good things about this foundation. So I will try it out for you guys in a future video. And then lastly from Walmart, I got these little scent bursts. 
These are in like fall time scents, so I have apple, pumpkin, and fall leaves. So these you put in like a wax melter type thing, and they're just kind of like little, like almost like potpourri things, like they're not like waxy or anything, so it's like you don't have to worry about getting a mess. And I actually love both of these scents. This fall leaf scent, I've gotten so many times like in the actual wax scent. So if you love like fall time scents, definitely check these out. They smell amazing. You can get them in the wax form and you can get them in these little things. These cost just a little bit more, but I really, really like them. Again, like you don't have to worry about a mess and all that. They're really easy to use. And I'm just so excited for fall time. I've already gotten my fall scents like on deck, ready to go. Like with this candle I just hauled and everything like we are here for the fall time. That's my favorite season ever, so I'm ready for it. Okay, you guys, so that's everything for my haul this time. I know it was super long. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you had fun. Again, I can't wait to try some of this stuff out for you. If you've tried any of this, please let me know how you like it, if you've tried it before, because I'd love to hear your thoughts on these products. And as I've said before, since moving down to Texas, we live in like a shopping mecca. So I'm probably gonna start doing a lot more haul videos. So I hope you guys enjoy haul videos. Give this video a thumbs up if you like haul videos. And I will see you next time. Bye.